So we're running back Rug Delver from Monday because the stream crashed. And I feel like I didn't get to play enough with it, so I'm gonna play for one or two weeks today with this deck. See how I feel. Um, and you know, it'll go how it goes. Dad? Who are you calling dad? What the heck? Oh, uh, we'll minimize that. Well, that was weird. I did not expect that to pop up. Um, but yeah, back to the Legacy League. Matt's is crushing. What's up, Ferrando? We're playing Rug mid range Delver. And we got a match. This is a continuation of the Monday stream where my stream crashed. All right. Let's see what we got. It seems fine. It's not actually a mid range deck. Well, I guess it kind of is. Depends on who you ask, Ferrando. Depends on who you ask. I'm going to go Trop Go, I think. <laughs> it's just jumped with Force of Will. That's more true for the four color pile deck for Endo, I think. Yes, please wasteland me. I will allow that. Ooh, okay. They might waste me upkeep, I guess. Not gonna cast Brainstorm. Alright, sweet. Um, actually, I am gonna cast Ren and Six. Where's the wasteland? I think I wanna play Ren and Six almost 100% of the time here. Will my opponent concede or show me more? Mox Diamond. Should I force it? I'm actually strongly considering that. I am, in fact, going to force it. Question is do I pitch Delver? I think I pitch Delver rather than uh, Brainstorm. So it looks like stacks, I guess. Um, I'll figure it out, I guess, but looking kind of goofy right now. I can just put two lands back. But with the Force of Negation pitching Delver, just play a Tarmogoyf. So I think I want to get a second red source. I'm gonna return the tarn. Just say go now. So I feel like it stacks. Oh, it's um. All right, never mind. Actually, this makes more sense than stacks. And that's what we saved the force for. <laughs> it's pretty neat. What's up, Milk Dud? Uh, so, the reason they have Containment Priest is they usually have Eldrazi Displacer. 
I think I'm gonna. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put back. I appreciate the support, Milk Dud. Either way. Uh, the question is, what do I put back? I kind of want to keep the bolt. Maybe I don't want the bolt. Maybe that's the actual answer. If I put bolt, brainstorm back, fetch with tarn, return tarn. I guess that's probably right. Note, I'm going to fetch first, then attack. Uh, okay, maybe that was a mistake then, Orm. Yo, what's up, Goblin Wacky? Thanks for the 49-person raid. Appreciate you. So, uh, if they can afford to, basic swamps. You can't always afford to do that. Yeah, I should have just played the true name pre-combat. Great. That is absolutely fine. This does nothing. What's up, Joe? How you been? Ooh, I can start putting my opponent in the waste lock. I'm going to. Just attack. If they want to trade both of their creatures for my Tarmor Glyph, I'm fine with that. Alright, now I'll return. Um, <laughs> Do I even want to play the Ponder? If I wanted to play the Ponder, I should have played it pre combat because it's one extra damage. I guess I'm probably still supposed to. That was a mistake not to, though. Fair enough, Orm. So maybe I should have kept the bolt. basic swamps, I would probably play Edict, but it, it's up to you. Um, this is only okay, I think. Kind of like those. Um, so the question is, how exposed do I want to be to Chalice in post-board game? With a bunch of answers in my deck. I think I'm going to take out Spell Pierce. What's up, Ved? We're continuing the league that crashed. Well, sorry. I 5 would that league, but we're, we've started a new league with the same list. Is what I actually meant to say. I think I'm going to side out Spell Snare. Yo, Ved! 13 month resub, my man! I'll open a chest for you after this match. Um, what do I want to do? They're white Eldrazi. Yeah, that's fair. But I only have five total of that type of card, Orm. Hmm. Debating what the last card to side out is. I feel like I should side out a one drop. Am I allowed to side out a Puritan? Probably not. Am I allowed to side out Chain Lightning? Hmm.
Alright, I'll set up prayer day, and I think the burn spells are too good to cut them. I think days is too good versus this type of deck as well. Alright, I'm gonna keep. If they chalice, I'm just not gonna force it, obviously. I guess I am forced to force that one. That one's way too debilitating given my hand. Um, say go. Like, the problem is if I don't force it, I actually don't have two mana guaranteed. So there's a lot of issues. Right, I'm gonna brainstorm in response off Trop. Yeah, I think it might be Soldier Stompy, right, Orm? Um, I think I'm going to just grudge the Mox Diamond first, actually. Yeah, I'm grudging the Mox. good. Alright. So, I'm pretty safe from almost everything. If I force it, I can wasteland them next turn. I left run on top, right? If I didn't leave run on top, I don't really want to force it. Does anyone remember? Just let it go. Miracle E13, thanks for the follow. Eh. Alright, fine. I'll let it go. Force pitch days just to send a message. That ain't happening. I think the correct play is probably to let it go for what it's worth. Um, we have the run on top. Right. Now say go. I think that's a little bit too passive, Ved. I'm gonna play around a random ninja. Alright, 1-0. I'm not sure about that second game. Obviously, there were a lot of decisions I could have made differently, but I think my opponent was mostly dead. Uh, I think our opponent was Soldier Stompy. 
Yeah, I think you're probably right, but... Yeah, I, th I said you. I think you're probably right. Hmm. I should open a chest for you. One sec. Let's see. Let's see what's in the Wonder Ball. What's in the Wonder Ball? Oh my God! Is this worth a bunch? Yeah, nice chest. Nice chest. Uh, although that's the PZ one, so it's 15. Also, there's a Gerard Weatherlight. Yeah, nice one, uh, Ved. It was all thanks to you. Paired for elite match. I guess I unhappily keep this not thin, most insane. Solid modern hand. It's true, solid modern hand. Well, this card's not printable in modern, right? I think it would be a little bit too good. I think I'm going to just leave up Spell Snare instead of wasting them. Because there's a chance that they're depths, and if there's if they're depths, you would rather have wasteland for the depths. Mm, okay. This looks an awful lot like dark depths. In response. It's fine. I'm just gonna say go. I think. Hmm. Actually, I guess there's merit to looking for bolt on main phase. Brainstorm then. Oh, ask and you shall receive. Uh, I think I'm going to put this back and one of the ponders back. Although it's kind of awkward that I have to fetch for another Volk. Yeah, I guess I don't have to bolt it as well. Okay, I'm going to put bolt and a ponder back then. Actually, maybe bolt dealt is better. Bolt dealt is probably better then. All right. I'm going to say go. I'm leaving off spell snare off trop. And then next turn, ponder, looking for something better. Not sure what. Okay. What's up, Mike?
The problem is we don't know if they're Hogak or not. Honestly, it doesn't look like it with this much discard. Because the Hogak Depths deck usually plays Cabal Therapy instead of Duress, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% obviously, but pretty sure. The, the current versions of that deck do not play Sylvan Safekeeper. Even if they should. Oh, let that go. Doesn't really matter. Okay, well, that matters. Good. I guess I just waste them and return the strand. Cut some off Hex Mage, specifically hot title disruption. Look at their mana base. want this strand you could also you could also make a point case for the sandbar or the wasteland maybe i should just get the wasteland this turn not sure i think it might not matter realistically speaking yeah exactly i don't think it actually matters that much I think they're going to get a fetch here, if I had to guess. Oh, they're going to get stage. Oh, that actually does make sense, I see. Um, wonder first and figure it out. I think I'm going to keep the Preordain and just shoot their Safekeeper. Because the Safekeeper is pressuring the Ren, so if I just force them to sack a land here... I don't think I need to get the Sandbar yet. Alright, I conceded. Basically, if you get the Safekeeper off the board, they can't kill the the Ren that easily, so... Uh, what don't I like in this matchup? I'm trying to remember. I think maybe... Maybe it was some number of bolts weren't that great. Yeah, I'm debating what to side out, Ved. Yeah, that's fair, Stu. I feel like I remember the bolts not being great, but... Oh yeah, true, true name's not great either, actually. That's reasonable. What's up, B boss? It's been okay lately. Uh, when I tested Hex Tranker last, I did not love it, but I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to side with the true names. I don't think they're good, especially since I expect my opponent to side in Plague Engineer. So now I'm actually pretty okay versus Plague Engineer instead of playing a three mana like thing into their Engineer instead. And Vapor Snag is obviously pretty good, so. Uh, one thing to note, 
is that maybe Bolt is better to clear out the Safekeeper now that I have Vapor Snag in my deck. But I'm not sure. Anyways, what's up? Shop, shop, shop. I think I'm going to put the Bolt in over the Spell Pierce, actually. Rough tumble. It's rough tumble. Uh, Weisberg, I use mana traders, so a lot of my cards are mismatched. But shrug. Um. All right, I'll leave in the chain over the grudge. This is probably a keep, but it's not like the most exciting hand. I'm not going to Vegas. Uh, which, there's a bunch of Indies coming up, right, Milk Dud? If, if you're talking about the Team GP, I think the answer is no, because I think that still qualifies for Richmond. It's kind of annoying. I think I'm still supposed to play Volcanic, but the fact that... The sandbar is not great here, I think. Should I Bolt in Daze? I feel like I should bolt in days. Alright, I guess I will. Uh oh. That card's pretty good. I like that card a lot. I think it's great. So you go. Now I can cycle my sandbar. I can cycle my sandbar and play a 3 4 Tarmoglyph. Which is a pretty good creature. Though this is also a 3 4. Three four is OP. Something like that, yeah. Alright, so they're gonna fetch half of their combo probably. Do I have three answers? Don't I only have two? Uh, actually, I think I'm going to play Arcanist. CBL doesn't work for you? Does it work for anyone else? I thought I loaded it. Can someone see if the deck is there or not? Yeah, I was playing Arcanist. Am I waste me? Interesting. Are they gonna waste me again? Oh, that sucks. Alright, might be waste locked this game. Sort of, sort of sucks, but whatever.
Yeah, and if I draw another land, I think I'm pretty safe, but obviously that may or may not happen. No, I don't like that fed. They have one card. I'm still gonna wait. I actually feel pretty safe now. Obviously, like, they can assemble their thing within a few turns. Sort of like this. Yep, that's really good for us. And they're incentivized to do this because we have Wasteland. Boop. It is a boop. Do I waste here? I don't think I waste, but I'm definitely attacking. I can always chomp. I'm not even going to waste them. Note. It, so I think what's likely to happen is I'm going to disenchant that. Uh, usually that deck only plays three Wasteland, yeah. Stu. I was playing three Wasteland, I think it's pretty stocked to only play three. Yeah, it's all three. So they can activate, get a stage, and then they draw depths. I guess I should just say go, actually. Attacking seems horrendous. My plan is to just disenchant the needle, and hopefully they go, like, go for it and I get to obliterate them, but we'll see what happens. They can fetch depths, but the land will be tapped so they can't activate, so I should just disenchant. Note, they can use stage to copy my wasteland. But I'm not sure that actually matters. I it kind of does. If they copy my wasteland, what happens? So 5-6. It's another wasteland that's very good. I think that might lock it up. No, because I want to play another Tarmogoyf stew. I think that's crazy. Oh, they can fetch up step if I attack with both, so I shouldn't if I attack. So if I attack with that, they just double block fetch up step, pro green the one that's placed first. So that's not even a good attack. So I think I'm just gonna play this and say go. And my plan is to probably waste both of the stages, or at least one stage. Because stage is going to copy my wasteland, I think. I 
Put a stop here just in case. We'll see what they fetch with the reclaimer activations. Nothing. Okay. So this turn I can get a productive attack in, most likely. Nah, dog. Nah, I disagree with that heavily. I think it's... This turn I have a good attack with both of my Tarmogoyfs. And then if this one flips, it's eight damage, so... Yeah, Ved, that's the play I described last turn, Ved. That's why I didn't want to attack last turn. Does that make sense? But if you have two Tarmogoyfs, then you get to get a productive attack. Like, that basically only works if you have both... Uh, wouldn't have flipped. I'm the greatest. Or something. Well, they're going to trade a land for a Reclaimer. Or a land for a Tarmogoyf, rather. Nucleosynth. Yes, I also believe that has worked out okay, too. Oh, they didn't do it. Nice. That's also okay for me. Obviously. No, I don't think the Delver attacks free. They de they do have one card in hand. So hypothetically, if they had a Decay, they can just Decay the Tarmogoyf and block that. So I don't think it's worth it. Obviously, they didn't have it, but... Got him. Quick Engineer and Wizard. All right, what was my top rating be? Force of Will. So I would flip it, and yeah, I'd probably draw it. All right. So we're 2040 in games. Pretty nice. This deck feels really, really good, Max and Lawrence. Yes, Arcanus is really good. I think it's a really powerful card. Even if this list only plays three. I'll keep and I'll bottom the brainstorm actually. Get out of here with your arbitrary pronunciations of cards, Ved. Alright, I think I'm going to snap off the waste, most likely, but we'll see what I draw. Yo, Nucleo... Brainstorm was the worst card in my hand right there, Nucleo. Like, I don't know what you want. Oh, you're you're sub to Jorbs. Jorbs is great. Gotta love join ribs. I miss Joe. Joe and I go way back. So it's probably Grixis. I say probably because it's not deterministic by this point. Well, that's pretty good. I'm going to bottom the force and draw the bolt. 
They might waste my red source, but at least I have Ponder looking for another red source. I, I sincerely doubt that the Delver by itself is going to kill me. I mean, it could, obviously, but it's kind of unlikely. I don't know. This looks like Grixis to me, Ved, right? It could be 4-color, but 4-color generally doesn't play Island, right? So they're going to waste me. Oh, they chose not to shuffle, which probably means their Delver is flipping next turn. I'm going to play Ponder. If they daze it, so be it. Actually, if they daze it, I might force pitch true name. Well, I don't want those. I don't mind Delver Mirrors, but this one looks like it might go south pretty quickly. They chose to shuffle, so that's probably a good sign for me. Yeah. Well, I hope not to get brainstorm mocked, but I have to fire this off. If they daze or spell pierce, I'm going to force. All right. Okay. Put your name. Boy, fun top. Tarma Goofy. That's a nice username. Yeah, I'm just going to bolt during their upkeep, I think. I don't know why they're fetching now. I don't think they know their top card whatsoever, right? They shuffled off Ponder last turn? I'm gonna force pitch force on true name. Uh, that one's okay. I'm just going to bolt it on my turn, probably. Um, let's see. I have three bolts left. They don't know their top card. What's my top card? Somehow I think I'm supposed to force this. It's Goyf. Maybe I'm not supposed to force it, actually. Like, if I force it... <laughs> Yo, thanks, Tarma Goofy. I don't think I'm going to force it, actually. I've changed my mind. Yeah, I changed my mind, Ved. Should I play Tarmogoyf or both their Arcanist? They have two cards in hand. Um, Tarmogoyf is really big. But the problem is, if they draw a Bolt... This is a tough decision, actually. I don't know what's right. There's pros and cons to both. So, like, if the Goyf sticks, they basically don't have good attacks and I get to bolt the Del Delver. Yeah, bolting the Arcanist and playing Ponder might also be good. So I'm actually going to do that. Because now if I find another bolt off the Ponder, it's... Relatively good for me. Yeah, that was the other thought I had. If they have their own bolt and I play Goyf, I just kind of get wrecked. It's actually pretty good, I think. The question is, do I waste them off black? I think I do, right? Kind of ambivalent about that. Um, I 
I'm ambivalent about that true name. I don't think it's going to be very good this game. Mostly because we have not played into a daze yet, so it's kind of like it could be likely that they have one. I think they would have dazed the ponder, but there's a chance that they didn't. All right. Let's see if they have the bolt. If they bolt my Arcanus, I'm just going to force it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this very this seems very clearly correct. They feel a brainstorm. I hope they don't find a bolt. But I think forcing that bolt is is correct. Yeah, five six is not even close to this one three. One three is just better, man. So they're gonna play angler, I guess. Yeah, it's just in this situation Arcanus feels a lot more important. Ooh, this worked out well for me. All right. Nope. Gurmag Angler, mostly. Zap. Not going to play around days. I can't afford to anymore, so I'm not going to. Alright, here's the Grimag. It might outsize my creature now, but it's okay. Oh, it doesn't. Interesting. If I attack with both, I bought that. They block here, they take five. Is that even good? But maybe I need to just kill the Arcanus anyways. Yeah, I think they should have delved away all of their creatures, right? They should have delved away this Delver to make this a 4-5. Yeah, I have to trade the Arcanus. The question is, do I attack with Tarmoglyph? Oh, I guess I would just bolt on my turn, right? Yeah. So I think I have to force the trade. I'm slightly ahead. So obviously like this doesn't look great, but I think it's fine. I basically traded Arcanist for Arcanist, and we're slightly ahead in the race. I'm not going to block here, obviously. If they have... well, they can't even have land bolt bolt. That tree is impossible, so that's sweet. That's not great. Only sandbar. Um, damn, this sucks. This is a situation where sandbar is much worse. Um, so I think I cycle looking for a red card.
not allowed to attack. If I attack, I'm dobbed, so I just have to say go. Interesting. So I guess they're going to bolt my delver. I feel like going to one is actually correct. Because I essentially cannot beat... Oh, maybe this is the best block. Okay, yeah, actually this is probably the best block. Let's see. Well, the other problem is... Yes, I cannot cast a true name if I don't block like this. So this is obviously correct. Yep. All right, I'm going to see if my true name resolves first before I attack. All right, now I'll attack. Yeah. Uh, Cookie, I do, actually. Alright, that was nice. Um, we're gonna be on the draw. On the draw, I actually like shaving some number of these. Spell Pierce is a pretty bad card, I think. This might be the matchup where I don't have a lot to side in, but I'm gonna side in the Blasts because they're good for his true name. Snag is like okay, it's not actually insane, but it's okay. I like spell snare, I like the bolts and chains. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I think so. I think you just want basically answers to creatures instead of not answers to creatures, even if they're like sort of conditional. Remember, I have Ren in my deck, so I think it becomes a little bit better than normal. The m Mountain Called Monkey, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm deciding how to play it. I think I'm just going to play Dover Go. Yeah, exactly. Well, the thing is, I actually want to brainstorm into the red source, I think. Because otherwise this brainstorm becomes dead if you don't do that, right? Alright, what else? I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna force that, obviously. That's just... Lunacy. They might bolt my Delver. That's fine. They have three cards now. So, kind of do need a red card. Tarma Goofy, thanks for the Prime sub. I'm going to open a chest for you after the match. <sighs> do I play around days? Probably. I feel like I should play around days. Which means I shouldn't brainstorm or ponder first. I should just fetch for Vulk and chain lightning it. Yo, thanks to all hundred all hundred viewers hanging out. Alright, it's fine. Could have cast Brainstorm, didn't really feel like it. All right. Well, now I need to find another red card, essentially. Let's 
Great Sword first. This sucks. Yo, says quit uh, Altera. Thanks for the follow. I guess they don't have a cantrip, so it might not suck that much. Yo, Rhino Coin, thanks for the Gym with resub. All right, let's get some claps in the chat for all the subs. Four subs today so far. Hype. I'm gonna put these two, these few lands back. I think. True name's kind of tempting, actually, but hmm. they only have one card, so maybe I should just take the true name. Plus, I'm probably going to get Thoughtseize this turn, is my suspicion. So, maybe I just play both Ponders. Yeah, I can empty my hand and just draw two lands, right? We did. It's turn three. I have three lands, right? I think I'm very likely to get... The no, that's so much better for them to do. Ugh. Uh, maybe they'll still thought sees me actually. Damn, Arcanus is so good. Oh, ghost quarter. Yo, F711, thanks for the sub. I'm not going to shuffle because I know my top card. I hope they thought sees me. Ha! Yes! Yes! Ghost Quarter's probably the fifth Wasteland Squee, probably in their sideboard. Alright, time to true name them. Woo! Whoop, 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 whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop! What's up, Aaron Kent? We are so thin. Uh, we're something, all right. 40 chess, indeed. Right, kill that. Hex Parasite? Isn't it played only in Mardu Shadow? I'm not playing those cards, Mark. There you go. I don't really understand the Mardu Shadow deck. I think it's really Galaxy Brain, so it's too hard for me. That's fine. All right. Probably still going to need to draw a red card to win. Yo, the Tonic Booth, thanks for the. Seven seven month resub. All right. Well, maybe I should have, but I was afraid of Angler still. One UU moat. That's correct. Strategic Hamlet. All right. Just need a bolt. Ooh, are they bolting me? No, they're pondering. All right. I'm gonna block the hell out of that Arcanist. Chose not to shuffle, so they probably have a land. Yeah, don't think I'm in good shape. Oh, okay. Well, at least that's not a red land. They chose to shuffle this time. That's not good. All right, time to attack. Okay, that's fine. Put 
That plays. Definitely plays. Very cleverly played my land first. I have a chain and a bolt in the yard, which are definitely the first spells being flashbacked with this Arcanist. Opponent conceded! Wow, that's... Unexpected. What the hell? Alright, top card. Oh, I can't quick draw card anymore? Eh. I guess they, no, they knew their top two cards from Ponder. Yeah, because they Ponder wasted me, attacked and said go, and then we played Arcanist, so. Uh, I have no clue how to do that, Mark, so I'm not going to. No, the, usually the Delver deck has three Volcanics, so it seems unlikely. Anyways, we're 3-0. So far, 8-0 with this list. I 5 0 on Monday. Shout out to Lawrence and Max. Oh, you want to ask that? Well, here's the Red Baron Snoop Dogg. Well, flying the doghouse. Snoopy sweeps on his house, Tarmogoyf. Dancing Snoop Dogg on the house. And you know, sometimes it's a dark and stormy night and you're writing a book on your typewriter on the Snoopy house. So the answer is J Ford play played with these in a GP. Then Ricardo said, you're not allowed to play with those anymore. <laughs> I can only get so erect. Yeah, I, I mean, Ricardo and Sheldon no stirred it now, so. But they are sweet. I agree. I, I love them. J Ford won the match he was in a camera match with as Rug Delver versus High Tide, so. With those Tarmogoyfs. Uh, Will and Jonathan, it was a troll. It was a meme. Well, you can't recognize that they're Tarmogoyfs by looking at them Tarmogoofy. I think that is the main issue. Because they're very clearly Snoopies, not Tarmogoyfs. Uh, I don't like the black deck because I think its mana is really awkward. And you only gain a little bit of power. I don't know, Tarmogoof. I'm not a judge, so I just let judges decide if I'm allowed to play with cards or not. Playing against Julian23, it's probably elves. Uh, this is fine. Looks like Maverick, actually. Answer. Should I waste them? No. Nah. I guess land go is probably correct. I'm looking for Ren and Six. Yep. Ren's probably what I want. Ooh, definitely want Ren and Six now. I'm going to brainstorm a response. We're definitely, definitely uh, forcing it now. Gonna pitch spell pierce, I think. Yo, Matt, thanks for the 11 month resub. Hope you're doing well. All right. 
gonna force pitch Pierce. Gonna get a volcanic and shoot the noble hierarch, I think. Hope they don't have a 4-4 four, four knight here. Yo, Will Jonathan, thank you for the follow, man. Hope you're having a good one. Or is it 3-3 three, three knight? So if we brainstorm into a bolt, we can kill it. So I'm going to cast brainstorm first. I can cash in two lands. One thing you do not want to do is waste them first, then play Lightning Bolt, because then the knight will be a 4-4. So, hope to draw a Chain or a Lightning Bolt. Uh, Elvish Reclaimer? Generally no, but... Alright... This is kind of awkward. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. I might just minus on birds. Okay, minus on birds. All right, let's 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 map out the entire turn before I do anything. If I minus on birds, they're down to two mana. If I waste them, they're down to one, especially if I waste the savannah. Yeah, Justice Peanut, that's what I was thinking. It's a mini punish if they have another land, but it seems like they don't because they would have played a land last turn if they had one. Right, so that's that's exactly what I'm thinking too. Making the 1-3 doesn't even do anything really, that's the real problem with that. So now they can attack my Ren, but that's like absolutely okay. So that will get Dried Arbor, but I can waste the Dried Arbor if I want to. I have a plan. Well, do I? If I waste the Arbor and play Arcanist, they'll have a 5-5 five, five Knight and I'll have an Arcanist, but their Knight can't really attack. So I don't think I'm going to force this. I think the true name is more valuable, is my thought process. Yeah, you're not really allowed to trade 5 damage for a card here, which is kind of sad. Like, Arcanus is really powerful. If I start to get casting Brainstorms, I can probably summon, like, too good of an army for them to do anything. Note, if I draw a bolt, I can also just insta-kill the knight by bolting, then attacking, and then bolting. So that's also nice. Uh, you cannot sacrifice that to Knight of the Royal Quarry either. So. Alright, that's fine. Flooding a little bit. If I attack, what happens? See, they go to 15, I go to 13, they go to 12, I go to 8. I feel like I probably should attack actually, right? And hope to find some bolts. If I find a bolt, I think the math swings in my favor. So this is a 4 turn clock. So 
doing the math. I think attacking is correct though. Especially since this deals them damage. If they want to tap that for mana. And they don't. I can also just stop attacking if necessary, which is not irrelevant. That plays. No, Knight could be a 7 7, but that's fine. Okay, so they're Abzan. Could be an 8 8. Okay. Really need a cantrip or something. Right, it doesn't matter until I'm actually. Alright, guess I'm not allowed to attack anymore. All right, so plan is to like wall that off for a bit. All right, plan is to hardcast forcible on that. Trips would be good. I have eight left in my deck. I have two brainstorm, um, two preordain, four ponder left. That's less good for me. Might succumb to a uh, herd of knights, unfortunately. Has that look about it? Can I brainstorm into three bolts? Maverick usually plays one cavern, Ved, so this is not unusual. I am dead though, right? Sucks. They usually have exactly one. It It's kind of, like, it's good in these scenarios, obviously, but like, that game kind of sucked. Spell Pierce sucks. The Vapor Snags are pretty okay. Yo, yeah, what about Bob? Thank you for the follow. I could have brainstormed if hypothetically if I drew brainstorm last turn. Nope, I only had two cards in hand. So I was drawing dead-ish, I think. I think I'm gonna just side out the Force of Nation Spell Pierce for two Vapor Snags and just try to I think this configuration is actually pretty good. Uh, Spell Snare is like kind of weak actually, so maybe I'll take that out. For like destructive revelry. Yeah, I'll do that. This covers both Sylvan Library, Choke, and Equipment, and it deals two damage, so it's pretty nice. I also have uh, another Naturalize and a Shatter, but I don't think I want to go overboard on uh, Equipment Answers. This is not good enough, I think. If I had a cantrip instead of one of these Stormgraves, I would snap it off, but I think this is just too bad. Uh, this is good enough. 
Again, I'm going to bottom the brainstorm. I'm going to go Trop Delver. If they plow my Delver, I'm not even going to force because like, I think that's just not really what the matchup is about. Uh, rough Tumble is only... The problem is Rough Tumble is not good versus a lot of their cards, I think. And it kills my own true names, which I think is one of the most important cards in the matchup. I think I'm going to take the Ponder. I really want to bolt that Hierarch, I think. Under. There's a chance I am not supposed to bolt the hierarch, but I think I'm supposed to. I think that is a correct heuristic a large portion of the time. The the one thing you can consider about not doing that is drawing that uh, Tarmogoyf would be pretty good, but it would take me so long to not bolt that Herrick, and they get to play multiple three drops in the meantime, that I think it's just correct to play, just correct to bolt the Herrick instead. Yeah, it does. Uh, the the one issue is I don't have a really good follow up. I think that is actually a pretty big issue. So Dokumoi. All right, so this is gonna get abrupt decayed. I'd rather they decay that than my run in six actually. So yeah, I agree. It was an excellent draw. Uh, I'm gonna get Volk and Ponder again. Yep, that's all well and good. I do not want my opponent to have that card. It is a good ponder, I agree. No shuffle here. We didn't, but so you go. Keeping this Vulcan hand. Well, obviously, I just want to. I did vet. Kind of hoping they just play a 3 3 night. Why? The squee, the problem is, I think. So. Squee, there's a few problems with keeping that. Those cards basically don't do anything. And the long game. Long game favors them. So you want to find a threat to try to kill them with. If I keep that, I'm basically just losing to everything, I think. Interesting. Uh, not going to force that. You might get get out but whatever. That I don't even care about that. All right. Really, I don't think there are many threatening cards they could have right there. Okay. Well, kill that. Yeah, it can't get Scrib Ranger really, so. They still know about this Volk for what it's worth. It's 
so an active force. That's just gonna get a knight, and that's gonna outclass all my shit immediately. All right, that's nice. Um, could actually. Am I supposed to fetch first, then get it back? Or should I brainstorm first? Because I'm supposed to get it back first. I'm supposed to get the land back first with Ren, right? Yeah, I think buying a land back is better. I was working it out, though. Twin conceded. Alright, um, don't think I want to change much. I think my deck is pretty optimized. They could. I don't know how many, how many, um, thing my Bob's Twin has in his deck. Guess. This is not the most exciting hand, but I also hate Mulligan in this matchup. I'm going to snap off the waste here, actually. I want to put my days online. Also, I thought that them leading with Cavern might imply weakness, but maybe that was just a bad read. All right, now I need to play Delver, I think. Gonna use the fetch land to scry in between if it's not a card that flips it. This is very unfortunate. It sucks. Guess I'm gonna lose. I can still draw a true name, I guess. True name would be pretty good. Right, ask and ye shall receive. Wish I had Sulfur Elemental in my deck. That card would be sweet. I don't think a second true name is going to be fast enough, although it's close. Taking one, two, three, four per turn. I think I'm meant to shuffle. Mm. No, I think I'm meant to shuffle. 
That sucks. I'm gonna lose. I would like to know, note how ineffectual Rough Tumble would be here. I generally don't like the card versus Maverick. I think it's much worse than it is versus Death and Taxes. Honestly, this is really the matchup where you want... Um, Plague Engineer, which is one of the upsides to having black in your deck. Engineer would be so insane here. Alright, fine. Whatevs. I think game one was the frustrating one where Felt like I was ahead, but it lost. But we're still 3 1. Nah, I think 2 mana is just such a good rate for that. Uh, this hand's pretty good. If I find a red source, the hand's like pretty absurd. I don't remember currently. I'll, sh I'll look it up after this match. Opponent's going to 5, so we're pretty lucky. I'm going to ponder into a red source and everything is going to be great. If I ponder into a red source, I'm swimming Arcanist, probably, but it depends on their land drops, obviously. Not forcing it. Fuck. Kind of a T. Really would rather not play that one if possible. Uh, I'm gonna shuffle this. It's not good enough. It's also not great, but that's okay. Wonder if there. Are Hogak Depths. It sort of. Oh, maybe it's just Reanimator. Oh, I guess it's Reanimator. That's not good. Oh! Okay, well, I didn't die yet. So that is good. Um. Just deck. Guess I should. Brainstorm, probably. Wasteland's like actually okay. That's good too. Slightly awkward is that I have to leave up to Pierce this turn, I think, but that's okay. In which case, I'm gonna put Ponder underneath. Arcanist and play the land say go. Yeah, I was mapping out what's going to happen. There's also a chance I cycle the Lonely Sandbar. I haven't decided yet, but and if I do that, then it doesn't really matter. But I probably will not cycle it. I'll probably end up playing it this game, unfortunately. No, it's not Like that. Alright. They're forced to take the pierce. If I pierce it, then they might just let it go and play their thing anyways. Mm. Right. Maybe they'll do something really stupid. It'd have to be incredibly stupid though. Well, I think I've seen enough here. <laughs> we couldn't really beat that unmask, and I think our opponent would jam anyways, even if I pierce. I actually do like snag here. 
for what it's worth. I do not particularly like Ren and Six. I think this is a bad matchup for it. I think the bolts are not great either for what it's worth. So I'm going to side in Spell Pierce. Revelry kills Animate Dead. I don't know if that's good enough. Might end up having to leave in two bolts, actually. These are kind of the options. You think bolts better than true name? I can actually see that, I suppose. All right. I guess I'll leave in four bolts instead of the disenchants or true name. Oh, I should have this in, actually. Uh, true name being a blue card is not good. What does Tumble do? Like, that, that costs six to kill a Chancellor of the Annex, so it realistically costs seven. So, no, it's not really a plan. Um, Snare is good because a lot of their reanimation cards cost two. I guess only having three bolts. You think you have Dead Gone? Well, we have Vapor Snag instead of Dead Gone. <laughs> Alright. Game two versus Reanimator now. Let's see what happens. Uh, good enough. This is, is really good. I'm going to ponder. All right. I guess I'm not going to ponder. Because they've revealed a Chancellor of the Annex. Which has a very relevant ability. Okay. That sucks. Um... This is fine. I mean, obviously it's not ideal for me, but really just hoping to rip a green source. I think green source would be optimal. All right. This is fine then. I'm just say go again. I can always daze to crack the Chancellor trigger note and then exile their. It's really annoying. I guess I'm supposed to let it go and force them to take my return to nature. Uh, Chancellor of Annex did not. Chancellor of the Tangle did. Dukamoy, if that makes sense. Alright. I'm going to play Delver to crack the... Um, Chancellor trigger and then play ponder, I think. Just because a surgical would be pretty good here. Oh, that's pretty good too. So I think I just keep them all. I draw the days first, then the pierce, because my plan next turn is to play Arcanist. So that's that's pretty good. Oh, I guess I could have. Yeah, maybe that was better. Uh, sucks. I days the ritual. They have to crack it. This feels like it's gonna go poorly. All right. I guess I'll double days it. Yeah, that's actually the best play. What are you talking about? Is trading two for two?
You're not my dad. I'm just gonna say go. Leave up Pierce for this turn. No, because the damage is way too important, in my opinion. I think that is just not smart. So the reason it appears this is they have more reanimation spells than they do discard outlets. So I basically usually snap that off. All right, nice. Got him. All right, game three. For all the marbles to go 4-1. I like this. There's Black Red Reanimator. <sighs> Probably have to unhappily keep, but this is fine. The problem is I don't have that much graveyard hate in my deck. That sucks. Double chance for. We're going to discard two chancellors, probably. Ooh. Okay, so their hands, chancellor, chancellor, bunch of unknowns. Just run this into the double chance for a trigger. Uh, that sucks. Can I trick them? Because they might fetch down to... Oh, that sucks. They might fetch down to three, I guess. I don't think they should. I could draw Vapor Snag, actually. not good. Right. Don't think the Tarmoglyph is going to be good enough. Don't think the Wasteland's particularly good anymore, so I'm going to bin those two and hope for some sort of weird miracle, I guess. not good either. Um, let's see, I'm at 12. That's 11 damage. So if I don't crack my fetch, I can live a turn because it, this gives minus one minus so. All right, I guess I'll see what they do. Maybe they'll do something inexplicable. Problem is, I'm not allowed to fetch there because fetching kills me. Oops. I flexibly tapped my land for the Chancellor Trigger. 
Double vapor snag? <laughs> it's not that one. Yeah, I probably was supposed to mole. You were correct, Lawrence. Alright, dead. I'll play one more league with this deck. Still think it's really good. Debating if I want to change anything. Um, I'm going to use the restroom and get some water real quick. If anyone has any sideboard suggestions that they want me to try, I'll keep that in mind. Be right back in a few minutes. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, Tom? Uh, yeah. At four dark depths. Uh, alright, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Lawrence, two tweets in the last hour. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Two vapor snag. Oh, we have a four color Delver deck with Tyrant Scorn. One rough tumble. I could get behind cutting one of the rough tumbles, actually. Let's see, what do I want to add? <gasps> Tormod's Crypt? Buster Storm? You have Island over Sandbar. Interesting. I don't know how to feel about that. Sub JW Hawa. Sub White Faces. I want should be Iowit. See if I have an Iowit. No, I'm gonna play another week. Alright. I'll trade it in. I mean. Um, I don't love Rough Tumble. So last card I should play. Do, 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 do. I think I'm just going to play Tormod Script, actually. And, oh, Tormods. Alright, let me go grab the cards from Mana Traders real quick. Shout out to the sponsor of the stream.
Hope everyone's having a good one tonight. Mod script. Island. Uh, white faces. I've registered Kavu Predator and Fairy Justice and Time Sorrow Block constructed. My deck also had four Grove of the Burn Willows. It also had Stonewood Invocation, if you remember that card. Phil Yam won a PTQ with that deck, so I played the deck the next week and I went 0 3 drop. <laughs> Turns out Phil is much better at playing that type of strategy than I am. I should have just played Teachings like I was planning on doing so, because Mystical Teachings was so good, but Phil, Phil talked me into it. Oh, that sounds sweet. Four mana is a lot for Stonewood Invocation, but that is pretty sweet. Update the card get live app. And then we'll be good to go. Let's see what's today? What did I cut? Sandbar for Iwit. Rough Tumble for Tormod Script, which are in completely different matchups. So sort of fiddling the knobs is how I would put it. It's exactly how I would put it, actually. Oh, did a bunch of people sub that I'm supposed to open chess for? Can someone remind me? Just thinking about it. Uh, I went 3-2. I think I punted match 5 versus Reanimator, and I lost to Julian playing Maverick. So I'm 8-2 with this one so far, but I'm trying a few things out. So uh, okay. Let's see. Um, Tonic Booth subbed. Thank you, Tonic Booth. White Faces is trying to steal my chess. Ooh, a Carnage Tyrant. It's probably not worth anything anymore, unfortunately. I would be surprised. Yeah, it's 20 cents. I do remember I was playing them. The card was so good for a small minute. Ventoza, thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, I, I've drafted two Ryan Six in my last six MTGO drafts, so I'm very lucky. Uh, Ari said that was like 0.4% to happen or something like that. It's a very small number. Maybe lower than that, actually. Uh, Chubby Rain. Oh, I have to open a chest for Chubby Rain. Ooh, Big Thalia and 35 play points. This is above expectation because of the play points. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, F711. Well, Ari just did the computation for me. Yo, you're not allowed to put cancel in your legacy deck, Lawrence. Didn't you see my tweet about that? You're not allowed to. What the hell, I've never seen this card. Thalia's Geist Collar. It's from Commander 2019. It's a 2 and a white 3-1. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, Create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. Oh, that's sweet. And Nightmare, obviously sweet, but... Yeah, that that's a sweet one. Oh, two cards named Thalia. Nightmare. Uh, Ryan, I have to open a chest for Ryan. I think that's everyone, then. Did I miss someone? Alright, Ryan. 
Ranger Vios, Inquisition. If this was RL, this would be worth a reasonable amount. Anjay, Falconrath. What the hell? Probably a vampire, I guess. It's a vanguard with no abilities. Do, do you all remember when vanguards had abilities? Because I do. Ranger Vios and Inquisition. Ranger Vios. Inquisition. Yeah, Lenore Elves Vanguard. That was a nice avatar. Uh, did I open one for everyone? Oh no, Sesqua Altera. Open a chest for that that person. Aether Vial? Is that worth anything? I don't like this card, personally. And Scion of Vitugazi. What a card. Vial. And Scion. And one more for Tarma Goofy, if I have it. I don't remember if I opened one or not. Finest Hour. Ooh, Aether Vial is worth something. Nice. That actually makes sense. So I remember when Tommy Ashton won a PTQ, brewing up a Bant deck the night before a PTQ with Finest Hour and Shore Crasher Mimic. I don't know if you know... If you curve Mimic into Rafik into Finest Hour, that's basically a thousand damage. Finest Hour. Ruins of Orin Reef. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to another league. Oh shoot, I can't see. Uh, Dokumai wanted to know what I played against. I guess I can go check in the game history. Let's scroll down a bit. Oh, I'm close to 1900 limited again. I've been on a sick run in uh, Horizons Draft, so I'm pretty lucky. No, I've drafted them in my last two out of my last six Meadow Drafts, I've drafted two. Casually cashing a GP with packs. Uh, what was Kreisha playing? Was this White Eldrazi? I oh, know this was Soldier Stompy, right? This was Soldier Stompy. All right. We beat that 2 0. This was Depths, I think. Yep, it's Depths. Uh, round three was Grix's Delver. Now I remember, round four was Maverick, Abzan Maverick, round five was Blackguard Reanimator. So there you go, Dokumai. Let's play a match. We've got an opponent already. All right, so I'm 8-2 so far. Ooh, a rematch versus Soldier Guy. Probably keep, but there's obviously ways this could go south, but I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna fetch for Volcanic. And play Delver. I made a few cosmetic changes. Yo, Min, thanks for the resub. 21 months. That's so many. I'm going to force pitching Force of Will because it doesn't cost me life. So there's actually merit to playing Force, Pitching Force, to put an artifact in the graveyard for Tarmogoyth. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it, it is close. Maybe I should, actually. I actually think the one life point is going to matter less than growing Tarmogoyth by one. Well, this person was white stompy before, right, Ved? Yeah, I'm going to force pitch force to put another type in the graveyard for Tarmogoyf.
Yeah, that's exactly what I was discussing. Whether I should grow goif or not. Or not. Pinch goif. Oh, that's a good thing. I. Oh, are they Eldrazi now? No, nope, Displacer, right? All right. Well, that one's getting bolted really quickly, probably. Brainstorm. Okay. I'm gonna fire off the brainstorm. It's still good. Put the goif on top and brainstorm beneath it and bolt attack for basically a billion damage. A billion, I mean seven, but they have an ancient tomb, so that is kind of like a billion. And I have a bolt in my hand, so that's like almost lethal by itself, which is kind of sick. They're probably scooping here. All right. I just have this person's number. It's kind of sick. Don't I like? I don't especially don't like these on the draw. Yeah, basically two billion damage. Uh, what else didn't I like versus this person? I'm trying to remember. I guess I can shave like preordain. Kind of crazy, I guess. Oh, I kind of want the fourth or sixth answer to Chalice on the draw, especially. So I think I'm going to just shave both preordains. I think this is good. Yeah, agreed. That's what I was working out. <clears throat> I don't like Rough Tumble still. Uh, we're good versus Chalice and we have a removal spell for Displacer. So, I'm gonna keep. Obviously, the second Disenchant is not the best. Opponent's going to 5, so they might be trying to Chalice us real hard, in which case I'm happier about our keep. <laughs> I'm... I'm actually rooting for them to chalice me, yeah, but they didn't. Um, I'm gonna go Trop Go. Would rather get that one wasted first off. Second off, I would rather preserve this for my brainstorm, obviously. So, both with a combination of both those factors, I think it's better to go Trop Go. Not ideal, actually. That was the one card that punishes the play I made. Uh, all right. Uh, it's a similar list, Bladowski. Bladowski. Uh, and yeah, the stream was on Monday. I'm gonna play this so I can hard cast days. If they don't do that, I'm just gonna fire off a brainstorm probably. My mana's pretty tight this game, so I, I'm going to need to. That's pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to put back Ancient Grudge. And probably a force. Encourage and force looks correct to me. So on my turn, I can. Oh, I should have put the grudge on top. I can get the Volk and chain lightning the displacer, so it works out pretty well. It's going to be a 4 or 5 goif when I get to play it next turn. 
So that's also pretty nice. Oh, they had to pay two mana to waste me. That's funny. All right, that's fine. All right. Very well. Four five is in. We're going to play Force of Will, Swords to Plowshares, is the game plan now. Caracas. All right. Nah. Damn, that might suck. I guess it depends on what it. All right. Well, no creature, so that doesn't suck. Yes. Basically, that is correct. Uh, I think I'm going to shuffle. You can make a case for keeping the brainstorm, but I think it's just oh, yikes. I think it's just better to find either a waste or a green source to kill that. Um, I want the artifact in the graveyard to pump, so I'm going to force pitch this. 5-6 is better than 4-5 uh, currently. Well, this is kind of funny. I'm just going to win as blue-green. I guess I did Chain Lightning once, so it's not technically blue-green. Well, I think the fact that all of your lands tap for blue is actually a huge improvement, Lawrence. Well, first off, Bodowski, that deck could hypothetically have Reality Smasher. So... 5-6 matters a lot, I think. Second off, it could matter in a weird corner case to get them to 3, and then they just, like, play a blocker. What did I say? There are more blue sources in this deck. Like, two more than the other one, right? Like, the other one had Badlands and Bayou? This one only has blue sources besides the Wasteland. So it's 13 blue sources versus 15. Like, that is actually a significant difference, right? Because a lot of your hands in Delver rely on the cantrip to fix your mana, right? Like, basically, Badlands Ponder is a snap mulligan, but a blue source Ponder is, a, is like almost a snap keep. So I think that is actually a pretty significant difference between the two decks. Well, them also being at three meant if I ever drew a red source, the bolt was lethal. So I think it's pretty important that I put them to three. Barring some weird circumstance. That poor white Eldrazi person. Just killed by our Tarmogoyfs both times. Really good card. Did not get paired, actually. Person left the queue. Q, Q, Q. Oh, I'm gonna open a chest for men. What's up, Dylan? Hope you're having a good one. I really like this list. I think it's really good. Maddie. Usually um, white blue, I think. I guess anyone could be playing anything now. Uh, I will mull again this hand. Uh, this one's reasonable. Kind of feel like opening chests anyways, just for the hell of it. Is that fair? Ooh. 
opponent, one, two, five. Going to bottom. Callum, I already opened all once in my career. I'm not planning on doing it again. Uh, I think I'm going to bottom the drop, but it's close, I guess. go here you go man here you go be excited Ooh, fire mines research and temple bell and five foot points both of these cards are sweet they're not very good but they're sweet To go All right. Hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna leave up Pierce this turn. Actually, might get punished by something. I'm not sure what. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Sam, I haven't decided yet. It's kind of complicated, I think. All right. I'm just going to fetch twice and play the Arcanist. It's a little bit aggressive, but kind of hate just sitting around. Sam, one real problem is... Uh, thermo cursed. Anyways, uh, this kind of just want to double daze this. If they dark it, I can just daze in response. Ooh, they're blue black. Interesting. Um, sorry, so currently consistent GP finishes don't have a payoff, but that might change in a bit, obviously. Should I priority or leave up 12 years? I think I'm going to leave up spell pierce for one turn. Uh, this is close to Lawrence's list, I think. So, like, probably plus or minus one or two cards. Whoa. Tin fins, I guess? Uh, don't like this. This makes me sad. This makes me really sad. All right. Probably Echo V on Storm is my actual take on what's going on here. Oh no! Don't do it! Don't have the Echo! Don't do it! Don't do it! That's more acceptable than the alternatives. Gonna put the Narset down to two so they can't just like, you know. Should I spell Pierce that? Well, so the real question mark was, was I supposed to spell Pierce or Preordain that turn? Squee? I definitely could have done the other thing, so I don't think it's as simple as that. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think Lands is great, despite what Casey keeps saying, Aphelion 47, but I don't know. I think the Depths package in Lands is good, but the rest of the deck is not great. So if I pierce this, they would have to... I guess I'm not supposed to pierce it. Anyways, what I was about to say is, if I pierce that, and they have an echo to follow plus land, wouldn't be great. I guess that wouldn't be great, period, so I don't know. By the way, Null Rod looking pretty good so far. I'm definitely siding in Null Rod. Probably siding in these two as well. And probably the Blasts as well. Damn, this nurse is so annoying. It's not great. Not great. This doesn't actually do very much except kill the Narset. I don't think I'm actually going to play it this turn. I think next turn I'm going to play it pre-combat, kill that, play Preordain. I'm going to lose to an Echo Beyond, so that's what it feels like. I chose not to shuffle. It's probably a bad sign. Definitely spell piercing that. No! Damn, if I had a bolt right here, it would be really good, but they know I don't have bolt. Oh, yeah. All right, I have one card to their seven, so I'm basically dead. If I went to five and I'm getting, like... Well, the problem is I have to pierce that, right? My hand just doesn't do anything otherwise. Yeah, I agree. That's why I pierced it. I mean, the problem is if their last card was Echo, we were going to get screwed, but that's okay. It's a risk I'm willing to take. I still believe my play is correct. Just, now I'm dead. Mox. All right, so an overall looking better and better actually in this matchup. All right, so they have Mentor in their deck. They're probably going to go get another Echo and then they will be dead. All right, I've had enough. Note, Preordain wouldn't even draw a card because of the Nars head still being there. So it all around sucks. Despite them having Mentor, I still think Bolts are not good. I think Spell Snare sucks. Friends are not very good. Uh, I may bring the Bolts back in, but I haven't decided yet. I do like the Blast, though. You white ish. Um, Swap yours is good. I guess we'll have three bolts in then. Because bolts are also good at picking off. Um, what's that card? Narset. Uh, true name kind of sucks actually. Alright, I'll set up the true name for another bolt. Another two bolts. All right, here we go. Don't like revelry or grudge, or I, I guess I have the grudge in, but I don't like revelry or other thing. Um, 
Yeah, I think this is barely good enough. Fast clock is like the most important thing, and we have one axis of interaction plus a waste, so I think I'm supposed to keep. It's obviously not the most insane hand, but I do believe it's a keep. Yep, I do too, but can't always get what you want. One thing I could have done is side in surgical versus in tomb, essentially, but didn't I think that's kind of narrow, so I didn't really want to do that. But it was something worth contemplating for for a second. Guess I need more distant chance for the next game, probably. This is what this indicates to me. Right. Kind of just hoping they tap out for a mentor. It's pretty unlikely they have one, but I don't think bolting them now is really that great. Nice. I can use the fetch to scry. It's probably better than drawing a land, right? No, I think it's better than drawing a land. I still have a bunch of lands in my deck. It feels like they're weak, actually, Lawrence, so that's why I want to put a clock on them. Flip, maybe? Right. That one I don't really want, so. Now I can leave up Spell Pierce to pay through it, pay for it through Defense Grid, so I'm just going to attack for three and say go. I could just EOT Bolt, which is also kind of nice. I'll spell pierce that. Because it's going to be way too expensive to spell pierce soon. That's pretty good. Ponder off a Volk. Six. Are these brainstorms actually good? I guess so. I have a plan. It's to find uh, Ancient Greta Rod, I think. Bang! What did the kids say? I think they're dead now. The double brainstorm was essentially four looks at a null rod or an ancient grudge, so I think it was good enough to keep that. All right, now that they've done this, I'm going to side these cards in and side out some of the bolts. 
essentially. Now that now that they've shown me defense grid, I shatters are a little bit better. Um, damn, this is kind of awkward. I think this is like actually an okay hand, but it's not ideal. I do have a brainstorm, so I'm probably supposed to keep, but it's close. Ancient Grudge and Null Rod are really, really powerful in this matchup. It's generally why I play one of each of these cards. Generally, in the first Null Rod, I almost always play in all of my Delver decks because I think that card's absurd. I'm not a huge fan of this one, actually, but I don't know. People told me that I should play it, so I'm going to listen to them. Interesting. All right. I wonder what that means. Uh, Lawrence is one. I think Max also had one, so I think I can wait on this brainstorm. Yikes. Now I'm brainstorm flooded. I'm still going to grudge the mocks. I think it's just too important to deny the mana. Fine. They might like try to echo. Or I might just grudge this LED as well. This doesn't really make a lot of sense, I think. Because the thing that's actually going to happen is I'm going to kill that. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Grudge. I think the proper proper response is that emoji, whatever it is. Uh, I'll preordain. Would rather ponder with the fetch, just in case. Uh, it's probably going to be good enough to do it. Keeping the ponder so I can pitch this ponder to that and play Arcanus. Arcanus probably locks it up, so I'll cast like a million cantrips. I guess I'll see if I find Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is technically faster. Spellgear is also pretty good, but I kind of just want all of them, I think. Well, except for the land. I think this is probably going to be good enough. My hand's like really stacked. Nah, I'm not going to say one of. Akash. Just feels kind of BM. Right, time to cast. Ponder, I guess. Have it all. Christ. Um I guess I could just take both Tarmogoyfs and play them both. And they're probably almost dead if I do that. Get these angry goyfs. Yeah, probably going to be enough. Considering I have days and force mitigation, and then spell pierce up next turn. Sub CBL James. We're playing some no bad cards rug. And it looks like we're. <laughs> oh, this is just kind of hilarious all around. No, it's not. It's correctly nomered.
I am going to Richmond this weekend. All right. My hand is literally five counter spells and a lightning bolt. It's kind of sick. Played opponent. I am the legacy seat. All right, we're two on this league, so I'm up to nine two with the deck. Five zero three two one uh, two zero. Wait, five plus three. No, five plus five plus two. Sorry, ten two. Ten two. Yeah. I've been pretty lucky lately in terms of Magic Online. Been running pretty well, especially in the Horizons drafts. Really? How would they beat that hand with Autumn's Veil? I would just counter spell the Autumn's Veil. Autumn's Veil slash Veil of Summer is not uncounterable. This is not a keepable hand, so we mold in it. Uh, this is fine. I'm gonna bottom my tree name. Tempest Island is pretty nice. Yeah, lover we'll number one. I think it's a pretty good deck currently. Um, can't just want to leave up spell pierce this turn, so I will. I don't really know their strategy yet. Tarn Island could be a bunch of things. It sucks. Right. I'm gonna brainstorm looking for Ren and Six. How will we want that true name? So I'm going to put Thunder Pierce back. Redraw the Pierce and hold it to fetch to pitch to force. I probably should have actually brainstormed a response to this Strix. So if I drew Daze, I would definitely want to Daze that. But. Obviously, a little bit late for that stuff. Versus <laughs> disembodied head. That sounds like Futurama level shit right there. Um, my personal choice would probably be Chandra Fire of Kaladesh, Milk Crate. That's one way of putting it. I kind of need another land, so I'm gonna... Ponder looks at three. Puritan also looks at three. And it's better if I find a shuffle later, so I should preordain, I think. All right. Good enough, I guess. I think I'm just going to main phase Bolt on the Arcanist. It's just too dangerous. Question is, do I want the fourth land or not? The answer is probably not. I don't think they're a daze deck, but they sometimes play spell pierce. It's kind of annoying. I kind of don't want to force it. I 
think I'm just gonna let it go and play my own true name. I am going to draw the land and then play true name off of that. And yes, it sort of does suck that I cannot kill their true name, but I think racing situations slightly favor me. But it is certainly close. All right, well, I get to spell pierce this for maximum value, so that's pretty nice. Pitch preordained too, so it's a really nice exchange for me. Hmm. This is kind of awkward. Am I supposed to force this? Both of my creatures are pretty valuable. I guess I am actually supposed to force this. Oh, it looks like they're just straight Grixis. What's up, iPhone 747? How are you doing? Is another time of life good enough? Seems like the answer might be yes, actually. The question is that days looks pretty bad, though. So I would draw like an okay card and two bad ones, or an okay card and a bad one. Maybe I, hmm, maybe I should shuffle. Uh, Rook's pretty good right now, I think. I'm 10 and 2 between Monday and today so far. I think I'm going to shuffle, actually. I think this basically does nothing that I wanted to do. Ooh. All right. Uh, what does that do? I don't like the Black Splash personally, but... I don't feel like super strongly about it. They have to use a turn attack with true name on Ren, which means I get a good attack with Tarmogoyf. It's like a weird cascading series of events that by me shooting the Strix means I'll probably get to attack with Tarmogoyf next turn. That's not great. Now that means I don't get to attack, unfortunately. And I'm behind in the race, so it's really not great all around. This needs to be a good one. I guess that's kind of good, actually. Ship's passing in the night. I think now I sacrifice one of my Tarmoglyphs. So they're suiciding their creature to cast a ponder, which is probably a reasonable exchange by this point. Yes, in fact, I did play a lot of teamer energy, Tarma Goofy. I think that decision is closer though.
Alright, so they drew Colgan's command, so I will daze it. <laughs> Not gonna return an island, even though like might be good with a brainstorm. Uh it depends on the format, I think, really. I don't think it's as simple as that, because I think the four color control deck in Legacy is much better than the three color control deck, because you don't need to um, how do I put it? So I have to wait for them to target, otherwise this doesn't work correctly, really. Because if they don't target K command, then I can't daze that, like if they just target like Brainstorm or Liliana's Triumph. Which I kind of feel like they should have targeted Triumph anyways. Like Triumphing me might be better than K commanding actually. I have to shuffle and look for a bolt. I thought about it actually, but I decided not to. They're probably just going to attack with both true names and I'm going to lose, which sucks, but whatevs. Dead. Unbeatable true name on both sides. Given their Grixis, I kind of hate these forces actually, but we'll see where I end up precisely. Might have to leave some forces in. Might have to leave in like two. I do like Spell Pierce. I like the Blasts. Do I need a lot of bolts? I'm not even thrilled about Triumph. I'd rather have Plague Engineer I iPhone 747. I think Plague Engineer is the real draw if you want to go down that rabbit hole. Alright. I'll have three forces in, I think. I think Engineer is like the best answer to a true name they've printed in a long time. This is fine. You can get a Volk and cast Ponder. The land would be good. These are probably good enough on average that... Uh, I normally name Rogue because of Bitter Blossom, Tarmagoofy. If they kill my creature, I'm not going to force. Oh, that was weird. Why did they just EOT crack a fetch? I actually think I am going to initiate. Just because I think Arcanus is so powerful that protecting it is worth it. And I get to waste their... Uh... Interesting. I guess... Ponder... Or Preordain first. See what's up. I 
another preordain. I'll just go digging. I'm just gonna bottom both, I think. Right, this is fine. I'm gonna waste their red source. Play Vault say go. It's like a mini bluff. I kind of just don't even want to cast a cantrip here. Interesting. Um, Days is not good. Spell Pierce would be really good. I have two Spell Pierces. Force of Negation is not good. Force of Will is, but I don't have Force of Negation in my deck. I guess I will brainstorm in response. The upside of hitting one of those is just too high. Nice. Force Pitch Ponder. I'm going to cast Ponder. Let's see what I get. Excellent. Guess. Um. I don't actually really want to draw the Delver, I think, but I do want to draw that Tarmac Wave. So they're going to Angler, I guess. Looks like an Angler. They can't shrink my Tarm Wife by the graveyard, so yeah. Mm. Do I know my top card? Huh. It's kind of a weird situation. If I play True Name. Don't know my top card. Think. Didn't side in vapor snag either, but a bolt would be pretty good. How many bolts do I have left? All of them. Yeah, I have a delver on top. I think I'm gonna just shuffle it away. Kind of not feeling playing this Delver or True Name out into a potential Deluge. All right. yeah, that's not going to be good enough. All right. I guess I'm going to do that next turn now. Now it's kind of a forced play, but... A Wasteland would have been pretty good too, so... I would have just wasted the Badlands, I think. Now, even if they deluge for five, it will kill their angler too. So, this is this is fine. Everything's fine. All right, it's fine. They probably have to plus it, really. 
And I have the Power Blast in hand, so it works out pretty well for me. Also, they're kind of incentivized to leave a land on top if they hit one. And a land's not even that bad here, really. All right, now I'll just attack for eight, and they're in pretty big trouble. Not going to... well, there's nothing good for me to play anyways, so not going to play anything. All right, win game two, onto game three versus Grixis Control. I think I'm going to side in the fourth force on the draw. Possibly shave one days. I think I'll shave one days. Really don't like Winter Orb vs. K Command. Although it might be better than I'm giving it credit for vs. them. But I'm just not going to bother with it, I think. I think I'm just going to bomb the Bolt. It's the worst card in my hand. This makes me think they're a Land Light. Obviously that's not like a guaranteed read, but usually in this matchup you want to lead on your basics if you can. All right, I'm just going to leave Spell Snare up this turn. They could Power Blast here. I'm okay with that. Alright, that's fine. I have another one in my hand, so... I can just do that next turn. The land's good, the force is good, so I'm going to draw the land and put the force underneath it. We'll see if I need to brainstorm into it. I may not end up needing it. I, I think I probably will, but it's certainly a close call. I'm going to just play Arcanist. I have two protection spells for it, so it feels sort of safe. Obviously it can still get killed by stuff, but I think this is pretty good for me. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to let it go. They just have way too many cards for this to be, feel correct. I think if they had less cards, I might just try to push, push the advantage. Okay. I don't really care about that all too much. I'm going to draw my land and play the true name and try to ride that to victory.
my blast here. It's okay. Then I'll daze the deluge. This is one of the major reasons I like Dead of Winter more than Toxic Deluge. You know, they have Snow Swamp and Regular Island. I think that's kind of amusing, actually. TNN, let's go. Yep, I have no basics in my deck, so that's fine. All right, well, we have a plan at least, I guess. I really don't like the Blood Moon plan versus Delver in general. Problem is, that would be a two for one anyway, so I basically have to force it. Well, that's pretty good. All right, got the win. 3-0 again. So we're up to 11-2 over two nights. Let's try to finish stronger this league than last week. Last league. That was a weird game. I played sort of strangely, I guess. But I chose not to force the bolt on my Arcanist where I'd done that last game. Just because the context felt very different. And I guess it worked out pretty well. I don't know. It, it was weird. All right, two matches left. Then I think I'm going to call it a night. Cause I think it's ITOR 92. Right. Almost perfect hand. If one of these preordains was a second land, I think it would be perfect, actually. But I do not think so. Lucilla 808. I don't think that's the type of card that should be banned. It is a little bit too good, but I don't think a card being too good makes it ban worthy. transgressive cards need a place to live is part of it i think is the reality like vintage is the ultimate place for transgressive cards obviously but all right i will daze that because i do need the threat i think if they daze back that's fine all right so we're both at square one and it appears to be a delver mirror of sorts And bottom both. So the problem is, well, there's a bunch of problems. I'll mention one of the problems in a second. If we got wasted right there without drawing a land, it would be really, 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 really terrible for us. And we know our opponent has at least two lands in hand. They have a volcanic, and they have this drop. So.
right. Crisis avoid avoided is how I would put that. I kind of do want to draw that Arcanist. Just try to force it, jam it through, but... Um, no, I don't think Ren and Six. No, I already gave my philosophy on that, Sam. Don't think it should be banned in either format. All right, that is too big to handle. I'm going to pitch the Brainstorm. They force back. I'll probably have to force again. I'm just going to drop and play Arcanist. I'm not going to risk trying to find a land to play around days. Well, I can't even really play around days. Is the reality. Right. I don't think they have days because you daze our canist almost every time there. Right, whatever. This is basically a force play. Might get wrecked. Okay. Did not get wrecked. That's fine. A bolt is good actually. Nice. We connect first with this. It's going to be good enough. Might not be actually, but if this sticks another turn, we're it's going to snowball really, really, really quickly. Ah, damn. What else? No one's been wastelanded yet either. It's kind of funny. Ah, shit. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't have risked it. I don't really want to waste them. I think wasting them is like pretty bad. And like, I think one of the best ways I can win is actually by drawing a Tarmogoyf now hmm i guess we'll see if this waste is going to be good looks like it might be like, it looks like they only have one green source currently. Alright, never mind. Alright. Called it. 4 5 is so big. Oh, didn't shuffle. Right. That is actually unbeatable. Nice. Doing our best to try to get them from this board state. We're ahead on board at least, so. Probably have to attack with both and then I might waste their fetch actually. Alright, 
Interesting. So they value the land more than their top card. Oh, okay. Damn, another brainstorm. That's not great. Might have galaxy brained myself with that wasteland, actually. That might have been incorrect. They chose to shuffle, that's a good sign, though. I'm not cracking this eyelet unless if they try to wasteland it because it's my only red source currently. All right, now I'll crack it. Should have probably went after the trop actually, now that I think about it, but it's okay. If they want to double block here, if they want to sacrifice one Delver here, that's fine. But yeah, I think this is just better for me to do. I feel like they've cast so many more cantrips than I have. Uh oh, that's bad. It's like I'm mostly dead. All right, we're done here. I can't actually win from this board state. The game kind of sucked actually, but. Um, this can go. These are like actually only okay. Don't think I'm going to side in much, actually, which is sad, but I think the blasts are good. And I'm just going to leave the rest on the bench. I think people are just really ban happy, too. I kind of hate it, actually. Let's just not ban things if, unless we absolutely have to, is my actual opinion. This is fine. It's not the most exciting hand, but it's certainly a keep. If you want to pyroblast this, that's okay. All right. Possible I should have just pyroblasted before playing land and wasted. That might have actually been a lot better now that I think about it. But this is the reality we live in.
Just gonna jam the run. If they have spell snare, it sucks, but whatever. I have to do it this way to play around days. I would ideally like to get back my wasteland, but I can't really do so. You have no blue currently, because we have some blue. What else? All right, I think that is sufficient to not shuffle. Top card is Reb, then true name underneath. If they decay this, that's fine. I'll let it go. Question is, do I want to draw that reb? Probably not. Okay. I think now, especially not. Maybe I do. One of the cards that's likely to be stranded in their hand is actually um, True Name. So this is nice insurance. I'm gonna let that go. I do want to draw the true name. The question is if I'm casting a next turn that's like a little bit more complicated. We'll get to that bridge when that turn happens. One top, one bottom. Oh, is this an angler? Hmm. Angler might be kind of tough. I guess that sort of forces me to just jam my true name if they play Angler this turn. It's a karate dome. Right. I guess I'll get a Vulcan play. True name. It's not the most exciting play, really, but I think it's correct. Hope, hope they don't have a second play again, Junior. They've already played one. Obviously, they could have a second, and it would kind of suck. They could also have Liliana's Triumph or Diabolic Edict, but I think we have to take some risks now. That's especially bad. The feeling I'm gonna lose in a bunch of turns. I'm about to have zero lands. It's gonna be a hard one. It's gonna be a really hard one.
I feel like especially in game one I got out cantripped, and it sort of feels like I'm getting out cantripped again, but maybe that's just not even accurate. They have three to my two this game. I don't know. Bottom top. Alright. Gotta kill Ren. This is the first order of business. And then say go. Probably Price into force of owning literally any piece of cardboard except for a can cantrip, but any creature probably. Percent chance I've won this game is really low. I think it's probably under like. Get out of there. You have days. You have days. Well, no attacks allowed because I would almost certainly die. <sighs> That's bad too. I don't think I can win. I'm going to die to that before I get to do anything productive. Okay. Kind of sucked a lot, but whatevs. Sometimes the Delver giveth, sometimes the Delver taketh. That's literally what happened right there. All right. Like 5032. And now we're 3 1. So 11 3. Delverman is right. Delver is based on Kafka, as far as I can tell. That that was when I first saw that come out in Innistrad. I'm like, oh, that's just Kafka, right? <clears throat> What's Hunger Artist? No, I'm pretty sure this is Kafka's Metamorphosis is the inspiration for this card. All right. Bryant Cook, probably Storm. This is, I guess, adequate but not exciting. Maybe it's not, actually. Those are dead. Two ponders and a pierce. Eh, probably supposed to be Morgan actually. Uh, this is not much better, but I don't think I'm allowed to Morgan again. What's up, Mark Dash? How you how you been, Mark? How's the fam doing? Shuffle. Nice. I'm happy to hear that. It's already. How old are your kids, Mark? I thought they were younger. That's awesome, though. <laughs> it's your goddamn birthday tomorrow. How old are you turning, Mark? Eleven and eight. Wow. I'm 
Kirk, you're getting old, man. You're getting old. Am I dead? This don't look good for me. 41. You know, Tim Wu is older than you. Interesting. Alright, now I'll brainstorm. gonna say go like casting anything main phase is just such a green light right. guess I'll give Bryant some storm but I don't think storm is really the bottleneck here Might be dead. Might not be as well. It sucks. Well, I probably was supposed to bolt right there, actually. But whatevs. Oh shit. I knew about that second bolt. I should have shuffled that away. Uh, that was an error for sure. This looks dangerous, but I don't think waiting around actually favors me. So I'm just going to jam a threat. Obviously I could die, but that's okay. Yes, I think that's exactly it. I wasn't supposed to draw the second bolt. I think that's pretty freaking bad. There you go now. Now a single duress does not take me off force of will. Oh yeah, that's the plan. If I miss, I basically am in danger for no reason, Night Shadow. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, I do. I have 12 damage. Like, if I draw a fetch, I'm probably just casting Chain Laning, really. Yeah, there's nothing good to burning wish for really here. No. Coral col color me wrong, I guess. That's pretty good actually.
Echo Vions, yeah. Basically, need to force this. I mean, I might be dead, but that's okay. They might, like, it depends on how many LEDs they drew and Chrome Mox and yeah. Like, Mox Up was also really powerful here. If they don't have enough mana, they probably have to take a bolt. That's pretty good too. So I could just waste attack. And see if that's good enough. I think it might be. Turn we I could ponder after fetching. Yeah, wasting the fetch might be correct. They have to let it go, right? Bolting now is the same as bolting on my next turn, NY guy. It, it basically doesn't do anything to bolt um, right now. This is bait. Um, actually, I can let that go. If they tendrils, I can just force a copy. So that's fine. Or daze a copy. I don't know. It kind of it. It sort of feels like their draw seven was not very good. All right. Let's go. All right. So I guess I probably have to force a copy, but we'll see what happens. Do I even care? Six. They go to eight. I bolt them. What if I ponder into another bolt? I guess I should daze a copy, actually, is the reality. Because they either... And they only have one card, so they can't really punish me for this play. Either they crack the LED to pay, or they crack the Delta. If they crack the Delta, they would go to 3, then 9. So if I ponder into a... Well, maybe there's no land left for that. Because if you crack, that saves you a one life, right? I guess that doesn't really matter, though. The 
This makes me thought seize proof. I'm not cabal therapy proof, obviously, but so there I pondered because if I found a bolt or a chain, they died. They didn't. I didn't find that, so they didn't die. Uh, probably should force that one. What a weird game. The early defense grid, then the turn 10 die to a Delver deck slowly. I actually generally think bolts are pretty awful, but Ren's even worse, so... No, I'm 3-1. So I actually do like the Shatters currently. Uh, mostly because I think the Shatters are good versus Defense Grid. I think that's like kind of an important axis to cut them off of. I might want Rough Tumble for Empty, I'm not sure. Might be better than like True Name. That was a weird game. I think most people would not have jammed True Name there, and they... Might have died because of it. Hmm. Uh, this is awkward. Iowa days. Should I mow again, Lawrence? Lawrence, he's still here? <laughs> Guess I probably should mow again. Alright, I'm gonna ship it. It's close, though, I think. Gonna bottom one of the ponders. I'm just gonna play my thread. If I get turn two, so be it. Kind of hoping they empty, obviously. If they don't, whatever. I'm putting on a pretty fast clock, so they might be incentivized to make a move. And empty is one of the easiest moves for them to make. I'll reveal it. So now they probably won't want to empty. It's my suspicion. <laughs> but I will attack for six. Brainstorm off. Drop probably.
None of my creatures died to rough tumble. It's kind of funny. Monster showing six per turn, which is a lot of damage. Okay. All right. I can have six now. If I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not going to worry about it. They might be getting Echo, so on F6, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, on F6. Uh, for Empty the Warren, Sam. That's pretty lucky. Forcing it doesn't do much except give them an extra storm, so I'm not going to do that. I wonder if I'm dead to just like wish for tendrils. They have a lot of looks. I chose not to shuffle. Oh, they might have cantripped into brainstorm, I guess. What if I was one short of dying to Grape Shot? <laughs> Which is kind of sick if you think about it. Did not want to give the Grape Shot, grape shot value. Uh, I should have the Blast instead of the Bolt. Instead of two Bolts at least. See if, let's see if I got them in in time. All right, I guess. It's not the most insane hand, but I don't think you're allowed to mulligan these hands when you've signed up to play this deck. F-Pock, in my opinion, a better mana base, I think, is uh, a big deal. I bought him the uh, Return to Nature because I don't think I need a second disenchant. I think the first one's good enough. Kind of hoping he plays grid this turn, because this would allow my revelry to do the maximum.
We'll see what happens though. Anything could happen about now. Merit Wage and the Pro Tour 25 uh, play mat. Yes. So, uh, three, two, and three, one in this one, game three versus Tess. I think I might have punted a match or two, but I'm not sure. Deck still feels really good, so there is that. If they play great, I'm just going to let it resolve and untap and kill it with Revelry on my turn. Should I spell pierce this? Should I just hard cast force and negation on it? I'm just gonna hard cast force and negation on it. Yo, Teal Hunter 07, thanks for the follow. That might have been bait, but that's okay. See what happens. Mm, sucks. Perhaps I'm dead. Um, if I just hadn't forced that thing, well, the problem is, could have been almost anything else. Brainstorm is just a lot of cards for them to see. All right. I guess I got killed through having two forces. Maybe I wasn't supposed to cast down on that. I'm not sure. It's like close either way, I suppose. All right. Oh, well, thanks for everyone hanging out. I'm gonna open one more chest. The three two for each check. Chest. How is this card? Grid Conclave Exile. Wow, that's a really powerful card. Yeah, and I remember this one. Yeah, probably. All right, I'm gonna see who else is streaming and pay it forward to them. Uh, where's the website I'm looking for? Ooh, Rich is streaming? We'll pay it forward to Rich then. Uh, 4 out of 40, yeah. Off Silver. I did, Matt. I don't remember what I opened, but I remember opening one for you. Good Shay. That's right. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Uh, go ahead and watch Rich.